231 Public Laws of 1975, this meeting is duly advertised in the South Jersey Times and Senate. The municipal clerk of the township has been duly notified and the requirements of posting the notice have been met. And could please stand with me for this? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ling Lee? Here. Cunningham? Here. Doyle? Cargoso? Here. Michael? Wilson? Here. Smith? Here. Starr? Here. Brett? Here. We have a quorum. All right. Um, on our presentations uh, this evening, we have none, but I know Mr. Peters is here. Do you want to do that? Thank you. The executive session for the, the uh, safety and security plan. Uh, which just makes sense what that's not looking at. So we'll jump right to uh, our first public comment uh, for agenda items. We'll make a motion to be able to the public. I have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone from the public like to comment on any items on the agenda this evening? Sure. Ms. Blonsky. Good evening, Doug. Our motion wants to give a 421 grant some of the new superintendent that probably should be addressing this to. I was wondering if there's any changes as far as uh, the children, as far as um, educating kids. I hear there's a lot of stuff that should not be in the schools today. And uh, I want to see math when the kids are going to do the younger kids. Uh, spelling, reading, writing, things that's going to get these kids to a higher level. Second, uh, what is it, kindergarten books right here? Uh, kindergarten through sixth grade. It's our yes. district, yeah, here. We're not getting these kids yeah. to learn. All this stuff with these, these books that should not be in the schools today, trying to change boys into girls, girls into boys, boys into girls, bathrooms, that's got to stop. Yeah, we don't really have much of that here in our district uh, due to the age of the children. And I, I said we don't really experience much of that type of thing here. I don't want to see them not get to school, so either. Yeah, I don't think anyone here does. Um, <laughs> And Mr. Walton, you want to chime in on any of the educational? Well, the educational pieces, uh, and this year they've actually updated the ELA and mass standards, actually just postponed the mass standards till, till next year. So, I mean, we're focused on those subject areas, but, you know, and our, our kids are actually doing very well to, to be the long term. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, academically, we're, we're doing well. Our IRA scores are good, and Ms. Dolan will be giving a presentation on our uh, JSLA scores that uh, was going to be very, very pleased with the, what they see this year. Because uh, it's uh, it's my tax money going for education, not for all that junk they're going to put into these kids' heads. There's no place for it in the schools. Yeah, I think most of us agree with you here, Ms. Bolton. I think the majority of the board would agree with you on that point. So, and what's nice the way our district is, you know, we only go to sixth grade, so we're able to tailor our policies to slightly more appropriately to the age level, whereas you know. If you're in a different district, uh, you know, uh, with a K to 12, you know, maybe some policies that were appropriate for, you know, older children uh, would be applied, so on and so forth. So it's nice that we have that ability to do that here. So, uh, hopefully that answers your question. If I can, real quick, I want to thank Ms. Walensky. She brought a box oh, of yeah. uh, supplies and stuff that she does each year, and uh, you know, we'll make sure that they, they get to the, the students that, that need them. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for carrying it. Great to Uh Any other public comments? Uh, seeing none, uh, make a motion to close to the public. Uh, second. Second. All in favor? Uh, All right. Um, <clears throat> can we go through the rest of the agenda? Uh, I mean, is there anything in human resources? That there's a few things in HR. Um, uh, let's just do the reports real quick. I don't have anything specific to report um, this evening. I just want to you know, wish everybody a, a happy and healthy uh, return to school. Uh, it's hard to believe that that will be coming up next week already. Um, Mrs. Shankling, is there anything from the SPA? No. Was there any liaison reports? I'm assuming none since we're in the summer. Okay. Um, I'll do the approval of the minutes. Uh, we have the minutes listed from uh, 
our July 10th uh, work session as well as the July 15th regular board meeting. Uh, make a motion to approve those minutes. I have a second. Second. Uh, is there any questions or comments on those minutes? Any revisions? Uh, not all in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm in favor, but I've had seen the seventh. Yeah, okay. Those in here. Noted. Two percent. Um, the remainder of our agenda will be going through uh, when we exit our executive session. Um, I'm not really sure how long to anticipate we'll be in executive session. Uh, you know, wild guess. Or... Could be lengthy. You're all more than welcome to stay. Um, however, it could be an hour or two. I really have no idea. So, two? Uh, just throw it <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say. I don't want to say now or be two. Um, you know, so um, well, maybe more than that. Could it could be yeah, in excess of an hour. So. Um, so at this point, I'm making a motion to the executive for the purposes of uh, personnel uh, security, which we talked about the review of our uh, safety and security plan and uh, contract litigation negotiation. So, uh, I make that motion. Do I have a second? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, with that, we're going to move to the executive session. Executive back second. Second. All in favor? Aye. It's actually a lot earlier than it seems like. Oh, yeah. When it gets dark early now. It's getting darker. Dark. Where are we? Um, yeah, where are we in this uh, um, To go through. Yeah, human uh, resources. We discussed human resources. Uh, anything since we discussed that? <laughs> One minute to get through it. Two hours to get through it. So, therefore, I make a motion to approve human resource items G1 through G13 as recommended by the superintendent. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, Trish, please. Hold on. Angley? Yes. Cunningham? Yes. Gregoso? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Smith? Yes. Star? Yes. Brett. Yes. Motion carried. All right. Uh, next item uh, is our uh, motion uh, to approve the interim superintendent contract. Um, that is for Brian Betts. Betts is it Betts or Betts? Betts. 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 Brian Betts. Um, tell me out here, Troy, real quick. Some uh, info background for the public on Mr. Betts. He comes from. He Auto retired Park. out of Robinsville. Robinsville. Yeah, Robinsville. Okay. So he worked up in Burlington mm -hmm. County and um, for his district he was before Robinsville, but he was in Robinsville. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rob, I don't remember before that. Robinsville, yeah. Yeah, so, um, so we're excited to have Mr. Patton uh, come on board and uh, help us with the transition here. So, uh, with that, I'll make a motion to approve the uh, contract as listed. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, any questions? Right, you want to roll on that, Trisha? Yes. Uh, roll call. Yes. Wilson? Yes. Smith? Yes. Starr? Yes. Tangley? Yes. Cunningham? Yes. Britt? Yes. Um, and just for the public, Mr. Betts had reached out to uh, inquire whether he should be here this evening, and uh, we thought um, that given the summer month that there was, there was no need for him to, to be here, I'm sure the staff will probably be meeting Mr. Betts uh, prior to our next meeting. Is that correct? Uh, should they? Yeah, we'll call him tomorrow and see about finding Mr. Betts. Great. General Administration, um, Superintendent's Report. Education. Uh, Education. Just a couple items in education. So on the two, there's professional development for the um, COLA 10th Federal Conference. Um, under I-3, we have a couple of fundraisers. I-4, we have uh, presenters for our beginning and end service. I-5, a couple of practicum students, actually three practicum students. And then I-6, we have some, some housekeeping stuff. Troy, what's CBQ implementation? Database something? Where are it, we? That's it, I'm sorry. Um, where am I? J, uh, I4. No. I4. Yeah, four. It's at the bottom. Yeah, it's the uh, database question? Yeah. That, okay, I was going to say. Uh, that's what I thought. I didn't want to. Yes. Thank you. I didn't want to assume, but I, I, I was going to. Okay, thank you. 
Any other questions? I lost my train of thought here. Class one education. I make the motion to approve education items I one through I six is recommended by the second. Okay. Any other comments? Uh, Trish Bobo. Cunningham? Yeah. Caruso? Yeah. Wilson? Yes. Smith? Yes. Starr? Yes. Shangling? Yes. Britt? Yes. Motion carries. All right. Uh, General Administration? Yeah. Just two things. So number one's on enrollment, and number three is our emergency bill from some school. Questions? So I make a motion for the administration items J1 through J6 is recommended. Do I have a second? Yes, second. Uh, second by Michelle. Any other comments? Uh, Treasury Paul Roper. Wilson? Yes. Smith? Yes. Smith. yes. Starr? Yes. Changlini? Yes. Cunningham? Yes. Burgoso? Yes. Great. Yes. Motion carries. Uh, operations for? Uh, item number one, bill list and payroll. No, nothing was added. Later, the question will go to payroll. So none will be gone. Item number two are the budget transfers for June of 2024. Three is the budget over expenditure certification with the board secretary report and treasurer report for the month of June 2024. And the board of education over expenditure certification again for the month of June 2024. I don't know before. No cafeteria report, no out of district services. <clears throat> Item number seven, there are three out of district placements listed. One we just got the contract for today, um, so that's there listed in yellow. Um, you will see the extraordinary services listed separately. We typically not had that, so that's why it may look a little bit different. Um, but they are listed there as per IEP. Questions? Eight, nine, or none. Number ten, we have the contracts listed. I, I did have one on that. The, the mill bill that just got added. Is, is their transportation separate? I didn't see it under the transportation contracts. There will I thought <coughs> that was under joint Unless I missed it. Because yeah. I saw the transportation for the other budget. Yes, there. that is listed in number ten. Silver Run Elementary School. Oh, gotcha. <coughs> yeah. And what is that? What is that? Mean? It's not a full day thing. Still to run? Yeah. The elementary school in Noble. Yeah, I'm saying we're sending students there for. Correct. These, like, what are they? How long are these sessions? Like, it's not, it's not, well, it's, going it's there tuition. For yes, the student is going there for school. Uh, they are in the BD program. So we are paying tuition for the student to go there. Some schools include counseling in their tuition. Mobile does not, and anywhere you go, OT sessions are going to be above and beyond tuition. Oh, uh, so this is in addition, in addition to the 27675. Correct. Have, we have the, uh, Correct. And those are estimated, um, but again, if the IEP may change, those costs may either increase or decrease. And what's BD? Is that what Michelle suggested? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So then transportation number 10, listed there. Item number 11, transportation jointers. This one we did change the table a little bit because we are um, the host district for the one student that's listed uh, for ESY as ratified and firm. We are transporting that student. That student is now a seventh grader at LC. So we are getting income from performing that route. Uh, 12 and 13 are none. Item number 14. We do every year the bus routes. Those that say school at the end of them are the routes that are picking the kids up from home to come to school. Those that say home at the end of them are when they're from school to home. And 15 is the list of streets and or roads and or cul-de-sacs that we will either travel down, back up on, or turn around on. <coughs> As well as, um, it, you know, in accordance with policy and state regulations. Uh, number 16, we have the contract with Hewitt Psychiatric or the outside consultant that's per the fee schedule. And then uh, number 17, we have the PT service proposal for uh, Gloucester County Special Services. 
provide PT, so that would be three hundred ten dollars per hour. That's it for operations. Any board member questions? Uh, hearing none, I make a motion to uh, approve operations committee items K one through K seventeen as recommended. Do I have a second? Second. <coughs> okay. uh, any other comments? No, please call roll. Star. Yes. Chaglini. Yes. Cunningham. Yes. Fergoso? Yes. Wilson? Yes, but I need to excuse my phone when we go with number two. Correct, no one. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Do you know me? I mean, I'm not sorry. I'm kidding! I'm kidding! Oh my gosh. I mean, it's good. 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 It's Two retirements that we have on the agenda this evening. Um, Mrs. Uh, Kimberly Keen um, will be retiring with uh, 30 years of service, uh, total service, 24 years at Franklin. Um, and Denise Hannum uh, with 25 years uh, in our transportation uh, department. So I just wanted to acknowledge both of their retirements and wish them the best. <laughs> With that, we have our old business listed, um, standard items for your review. Um, new business, nothing. Is there any new business I, from the board? I have an old business. Sure. What's the update on the cannabis? So they know about the lead again. Is there another meeting scheduled? I, I want to say I was at the meeting where it was postponed, and they continue to just announce that it's going to be at the following month's meeting, and right. that sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. So I think the last announcement, it was. Uh, to be heard at the September meeting. Uh, Are you planning to attend? Yeah, I, I, I attend most of the meetings, but okay. in the event, either way, I can keep you guys updated yeah. if I see a pop up on the agenda again. Yeah. And I, nothing's changed on our end, I guess. I mean, no. you still object to the uh, placement, right? So, yeah. uh, any other old business or new business right now? Uh, not, I'll make a motion we have it to the public. Uh, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Or even the public. You guys waited so diligently. You must have something to say. Yeah. Well, the part about the feasibility study is for the regionalization. But is the status of that? Um, we don't know. Yeah. How uh, I mean, long yet? It's a tape long already. Yeah, it's not a simple question. I mean, the, the study has been completed by um, a consultant. Uh, each board has re reviewed the study um, independently uh, in executive session, which is what our board was doing this evening for a majority of the time that we were um, clear in executive session. And I believe the consensus was that um, moving forward now that all, all three boards, um, when I say three boards, uh, I'm referring to Elk Township, Franklin Township, and uh, Delcy Regional Board have reviewed the study that uh, the next step will be uh, the study itself will, will be um, released for uh, for public consumption, and then I, I'm assuming sometime thereafter uh, there'll be a public hearing scheduled um, with the respective boards and the consultants to answer any, any public questions. Uh, is that everyone else's understanding of the timeline? Mm -hmm. uh, um, so there aren't DOPs? No, nah, there's no there's no dates. Yeah. There was a discussion on another steering committee because uh, there's there's a couple other dependents. Um, to the study, uh, mainly uh, tax allocations that need to be agreed upon between Franklin and Elk, uh, which have not yet been discussed. So, um, you know, it's just one more component in the process. So, I mean, I, I know there's been some real uh, advantageous dates thrown out there um, by different individuals. I mean, I just, you know, don't mean to be glass half empty or anything, but I'm assuming we're talking months uh, before there's anything of any. And so uh, I would think anybody want to disagree with me on that. Or? There's no good plan. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? I mean, I, 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 I would, I'm not, I was going to make a comment about the, the regionalization. If it does happen, you know, the status of your guys' deployment, I'm thinking you've got to 
probably retired by the time that happens. <laughs> uh, and if somebody and, will. And I mean that. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that in a respectful way. Like, I mean, yeah, so. <laughs> um, so, uh, any other, public bill, you got anything for us? No. Nope. Right. Um, with that, I make a motion to um, close the public comment portion. Do I have a second? Yeah. Um, our next scheduled meeting is the 23rd uh, at 6 o'clock. Uh, let me hear it, or we're going to do that in the over there. We're going to have the all purpose room. We'll have yeah. the uh, meet and greet. Um, again, yeah, wish everybody a uh, safe return to school. Um, before I adjourn, um, if I could, I have to speak with my board members regarding extracurricular activities. So uh, before you leave this evening, if you could meet me in the uh, whatever room that is back there, the laundry room. Yeah, talk to you guys real briefly. So with that, I make a motion to adjourn. Uh, second. Second. All favor. All favor. All favor. Aye. 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 Aye.